Hey guys, so I read this tweet from professional tennis player Liam Brody in which he said that tennis is getting slower and this led me to make this video because I've been saying for years that contrary to popular belief, tennis is not getting faster and faster, it is getting slower and slower. But to understand why I think that the ATP Tour is getting slower and slower, we need to go way back 20 years ago when we had all those finals between Pete Sampras and Goran Ivanishevic. In my opinion, it was these matches that led the ATP to make drastic changes in the surfaces and the balls. Because if you remember those matches, there were no rallies whatsoever. It was just one ace after the other from both players. So I think what happened was that the ATP got scared that tennis was getting too boring and they made drastic changes in the type of balls that the players play with. If you want to know the type of balls that professional players use, all you have to do is purchase a can of Wilson US Open balls and play with them for a set. What you will see that these are the type of balls that they use at the US Open. These balls will fluff up after half a set and they'll look like soccer balls. The felt gets really big and the ball gets slowed down tremendously. And it's not only the balls that are so slow now on the ATP Tour, it's also the surfaces. I've heard that in Wimbledon they made the grass grow in the opposite direction. In other words, in the direction of the incoming ball to slow the ball down. And it makes sense because back in those days, 20 years ago, the Spanish or the South American clay court specials that didn't even enter Wimbledon. In some cases, they would completely skip the grass court season because they knew that if they didn't serve and volley on grass, they had absolutely no chance to win any matches. But nowadays on grass, the surface has gotten a lot slower. The balls have gotten a lot slower. You can comfortably play from the baseline and serve and volley is almost extinct even on grass. Also, the ATP has gotten completely rid of the surface called carpet, which was used back in the day when they used to have a lot of tournaments in Germany. They had the Masters Cup in Germany, and they also had a lot of Masters Series tournaments in Germany on carpet, which, is, which was an incredibly fast surface. So this surface does not exist whatsoever, and what we most commonly find on the ATP Tour is a slow hard court. Now look guys, I'm going to be honest, I found the matches between Sampras and Ivanishevic boring as well, and I understand why the ATP Tour made the switch to slow the balls down to make the surfaces slower, but I think they went a little bit too extreme in the other way, because now we can make the same argument that sometimes tennis can be boring, this endless baseline rallies where everybody pretty much plays the same. It's a power game from the baseline. And what I think is happening to the players nowadays is that the players have evolved into baseline players. In other words, even if players wanted to come to the net and play serving volley tennis, they don't possess the type of athleticism that's required to play at the net and they also don't possess the hands required at the net and possibly they don't possess the technique that's required to be successful at the net. So the tennis has evolved into a baseline game. So let's say we made the grass super fast like it was 20 years ago. Would Djokovic and Nadal have the same success? Maybe. I do think Djokovic and Nadal are unbelievably talented players, maybe the best players in the history of the game, but it would be interesting to see because I believe that if you put a Becker in his prime or a Sampras in his prime against uh, Novak Djokovic or Rafael Nadal, I do think Sampras and Becker would do well. Just think about how difficult it was to break Sampras. Think about how he approached the return games. He would always put pressure on the other guy by chipping and charging, by coming in. And the same goes for Boris Becker. I do think that that type of game style on a fast surface would outmatch the game style of Djokovic and Nadal. But on today's tour, there's nobody who's capable of playing that game style because I do think feel like the serve has deteriorated in the new generation of players. Players in the 90s were serving much better than the players today and I'm not the only one saying this. Becker said this on numerous occasions. Just think of the players with big serves back in the 90s. We had Sampras, Krejcik, Becker, Stich, Ivanishevich, and I, the list goes on and on. There were even more players with humongous serves and we just don't see that on today's tour anymore. Yes, we have some really tall guys like Opelka and Isner who have uh, tremendous serves. Let's not forget Karlovic as well, but these players have some weaknesses in other parts of the game. Back in the 90s, these big servers were all around players. They could play from the baseline, they could come to the net and play. They were incredible athletes, so they had the whole package. And you just don't see that type of player on tour anymore. And I think the direct reason for this is that the courts have been slow for so long. The professional tennis game has evolved into a baseline game. And the only way we're going to get back if we start to speed up the courts again, if we start to play with fast balls again, I think what will naturally happen is that players would adapt 
over the course of a few years and they would start playing tennis differently. 